guys, welcome back to my channel, and here we are with the long-awaited nail suite tour. So, let's get started. I'm gonna come and take you around here. Found these little pieces at Marshall's. I just use it to house some of my acrylics, um, all Valentino, and some of the pedicures that I'm featuring this month. Since it was February, I decided to feature my um, Chocolate Love pedicure and the Hemp Relax pedicure. And this is Balloon Boy, my dog, that I got from Target a long time ago. This is my accent wall. I got this wall off of Etsy, I think. At first I was gonna paint it, and then I was like, I don't know. But I wanted something to give the room a little bit of color so I didn't have to do too much in a lot of different places. So when we got this space, I painted everything white except for this wall, and then I ordered this wallpaper. Real easy to apply. It's peel and stick. So you basically measure your wall, and they sent it to me in like five panels. You can see the seams when you close up, but from far back you can't. And you literally just, it's like one big stick, and you just peel and stick. I have a little faux plants, because I love live plants. Um, this is my polish and retail area eventually I'm going to get into selling um, cuticle oils and different stuff like that but for now I have my press ones pre-packaged ready to go clients can purchase them when I post them on the internet this is just where I house all my stuff um, I got my license from that uh, my certificate from nail school I got my state licensure um, so smell good I don't even know can you smell this right no yes no okay i got my business card and another faux plant and for right now because as a nail tech you know we keep accumulating supplies i bought a lot of um more polish so i'm gonna end up buying another polish rack and then having more space for retail stuff and then i have um some dnd some eye gel some madam glam and i have my little acrylic paints that I got from Michaels and I use them to do certain artwork too. Um, as we come down, I have my sanitation station and basically like um, my little jars of bits that I put to be sanitized in and then implements and tools like you can see in here I have cuticle pushers and some nippers, pushers that need to be sanitized and I have my mini sanitation jar right now I have my brushes in them but I have another one that I need to bring in um I got a candle just because it was cute one of my friend's wife makes them I also link all this stuff in the description box below stuff that I don't buy from the local nail supply place I'll put it in the description below and then I have my Keurig which I use for two things that is to warm up my pedicure water in like the big pot. And then on the other side, I use the K-Cups whenever I want coffee. So, that's my station. This dresser part or desk part, what, is, what do I call this? I don't know what to call it. It's basically from Ikea. It's two Alex drawers and a Limon top, I believe it's called. So I got an Alex drawer with a bigger, like a filing bottom, and then I got the regular five drawer one. And we can take a look inside. It's junky, so beware. On the top, I got my K cups. I got um, some snacks. I got my Christmas candies, and I have some straws and some dried mangoes because that's one of my favorite foods. I need to re up on my teeth. And of course, a drawer wouldn't be a drawer without Chick-fil-A sauces. And this one, I have all my soaking and back stock of pedicure stuff, which I need to order more of. Um, I use these little things to do my soak offs. Cute, really came in handy. I found them at a shop that I used to work at, and then I found them online. Hot water in the bottom, acetone in the top, pop it together, and then you can rush your hand and soak. And this is my manicure bowl, and then I have backup like manicure bowls or soaking containers, but I don't really use those. In this drawer, I have this is trash. 
I have backup um, tips. I have uh, autoclave bags, even though I don't have autoclave, I plan on getting one. I just use barbicide for everything for right now. Um, tape for when I do my uh, press ons and I want to mail them out here. And then I have my press on bags. An extra phone. I don't know. Just an extra phone. Some business cards and an Android charger. And then in here, this is kind of like my catch-all drawer. I got my packaging for press ones, my labels. I just want an uh, air purifier, so I got my backup little purification smell things. And what else is in here? Coffee cup warmers. And then this is my favorite little accessory. Whenever it's really, really cold in here and it takes a long time for my acrylic to set, I take hot water, pour it in a cup, put my acetone out of the glass container, I mean my liquid inside of there, warm it up, helps me with a little acid. Then I perfectly calculated a mini fridge because, you know, gotta have a mini fridge. So I have champagne that was left over from, uh, well, not champagne, rosé, sparkling rosé. Left over from Valentine's Day. I got complimentary waters. I got an emergency lunch, some chocolates, and my alkaline waters, and some wine glasses. And over here, I have the cool stuff. So in this first drawer, I have glitters, foils, mylar paper, and I try to keep them all flat so that as soon as I open the drawer, I can see what I need and just reach in and grab it. In the second drawer, I have bling and encapsulation, glitters, flowers, confettis, and different stuff like that. In this third drawer, I have micro and caviar beads, pigments, inks, chromes, my neutral and clear acrylics, and then oils for my manicures and pedicures. This drawer just has my pedicure supplies. And the bottom drawer has my pedicure towels and toe files. I have my fan and my outlet. And then I have a back door. Got a surge protector. This is my pride and my joy. It's my pedicure chair. I bought this chair off of OfferUp, I think, from a lady for, how much money did I spend on this? 50. Maybe about $50? Yeah, 50. For another, maybe 30, I bought fabric. And I reposted this chair by itself. I have a ton of footage of it. I just gotta get it all together and edit it down. Cause when I put it together, it was an hour long. And y'all probably don't wanna see that. So I'm gonna condense it. And then I'm going to post that video as well. Underneath the chair, I put it away. And I have my copper pedicure hole. And this is what I use to get pedicures. The top is detachable. And you just reattach it. Put their feet in, pedicures. Pay no attention to my floor. We will do that one day. So on this side, I have my pedicure cart. Um, and it's like my quick grab cart. I got cotton balls, my pedicure liners, my gloves, my apron. I have a client who's allergic to the regular liquid that I use. So I have um, young nail liquid specifically for her and I have my cotton cleaning solution I actually need to label this so yeah that's my part I'm gonna do my pedicures I just roll it over and that's that and then over here tucked away in the corner I have my Febreze air purifier and that's new just put it in here haven't used it yet but when I turned it on earlier it smelled really good and we'll see how it does with the smell of crew. so over here I have another octagon hexagon shelf I don't know I never counted the sides and it's my other um Valentino collection then I have all of my polishes on the wall 
and the piece de resistance, my nail desk. Okay, so my nail desk, I have a nail desk that I bought. It wasn't Minerva Beauty. I can't remember the name of the website that I got it from, but again, that'll be in the description box. But it came pre-cut so that I can have a dust collector in it. And it's just the um, Valentino flush mount dust collector. And you know, traditional dust collector. You pop your filter out, change it, pop it back in, put a grate on it, and then pop it back into the dust. And then the part in here is where you open it up and you can turn it on. Control the, the setting and turn it off. Um, my desk lamp. My boyfriend's mom actually bought this from me. I think she said she got it from Costco. Super cute lamp. It comes in different settings so you can change the temperature of the light. Or you can turn the light down or turn it up to maximum brightness. Um, and the back of the lamp was dope with it is it has USB ports so most of the time my clients when they charge their phone need to charge their phone they put it inside of the port um, I have a what is is it oh I thought to say Ozark but it's not Ozark it's a Bluetooth speaker it's a Bluetooth speaker and I usually use this when I listen to my tools um, oh inside of here I keep thermometer you know COVID friendly and I also have a ring light that I got off Amazon that I connect to the top of my phone when I take my nail picks. So, on this side of my desk is my carousel. I keep all of my acetone, my liquid, my cuticle oil, all that stuff, and my art tools inside of here, anything I need to keep handy. This is my phone clip, so when y'all see my YouTube videos, most of the time it's my phone and the clip over top of my desk. And then this is my nail brush. I use a size 14 brush. I think this is size 16 because the store didn't have any more 14. So that's that. And then I have my supplies inside of my nail desk. So because I'm right handed, I keep my drill, my sanding bands, my clear acrylic liquid top coat, cuticle oil all of that stuff I keep in my drawer that slides out directly on my right hand it's just an easy um reach in and grab so in the cabinets underneath the piece that slides out I keep my care sky nail lamp and some chargers the charger for my lamp and the charger for my drill so I can have that on handy and there is also my mask my files my potted gels from Ellie girl and I think that's about it so on the upper left hand side of my desk is where I keep my nippers clippers cuticle pushers e-file bits extra standing bands blooming gel transfer gel bling gel all the daggone gels and um the implements that i use to make my smile lines when i do french so i have two drawers on this side of the desk where i keep my tips extra sanding bands and my hand towels that i use so yeah that is my nail desk I also have a book where I keep all my swatches for acrylic. It's just easier to keep up with. I hand my clients the book. They pick the color of acrylic that corresponds with the number. And then we move on from there. So this is my supply closet. It also came from Ikea. I wish I had more shelves, but you know, it is what it is. I have my blanket because in the winter time it gets cold. I throw this across my lap or let my clients use it. A hanger for jackets and then all of my extra supplies. My purse, my back socket acetone, uh, barbicide, all of that stuff is in this closet. So that is all. Oh yeah, and the bag outside is it's my dirty laundry for right now. But, that is my sweet.